Today I got a phone call from myself to start the day. Uh, I was lying in bed and all of a sudden I was ringing me. Uh, now that's never a good sign because we have a care alert system uh, that's hooked up to the home phone and uh, when it's pressed it rings me first and I get a message telling me that my dad could be in trouble. So I ran downstairs and uh, found dad in his bedroom on the floor. Uh, he had a fall um, while weighing himself today um, and it shook him up pretty badly. There didn't seem to be any damage. He's got a little cut in his arm. But what it did do was just uh, kind of take the wind out of him for the day. So he was just really weak, couldn't get out of chairs, needed help doing everything, which is why at 10.15 at night, I'm completely exhausted. He uh, seems to have gone to the toilet, I don't know, more than once an hour. And that requires getting him up from a chair, uh, getting him in his walking frame, getting him to walk a few steps away from the chair so I can get the wheelchair to come around and pick him up, push him into the bathroom, help him up from that for the wheelchair to uh, the toilet and then waiting for him to finish that helping him back in the toilet helping him wash his hands bringing him back to his chair putting him in his frame so that he can then use that to get to his chair making sure he's okay and doing that you know more than once an hour means that I just don't have any time to do anything for myself so I spent most of the day taking dad to the toilet the other bit of the day has been me just at my computer tr failing to start work so it's been a really frustrating day i just want to go to bed now i'm so i'm so exhausted i told dad that i wanted to go to bed early tonight and it's such a long process getting him to bed that you know it's 45 minutes from the time he decides he wants to go to bed until i'm free to go to bed myself and that's kind of hard on on me obviously but uh also kirsty who often tries to wait up and we all go to bed at the same time and she's been asleep for half an hour before I get up and then I wake her up and uh you know it's it's not great it's been a hell of a day and I need to go to bed now